welcome back to the channel. So Supercoach has kind of officially started. If you subscribe to the Daily Telegraph um, through Supercoach, you would be able to pick your 2022 team picker. So this doesn't have the team set in stone, but you can just trial your team. Um, so if people are new to this channel and they're watching this video, look, I stumbled my way through Supercoach last year. It was absolutely shocking. Um, top 13% overall. Um, rank 18,000. So many injuries. Picked wrong from the start. Last year, I didn't pick two fullbacks. I picked two hookers, and the hookers were bad choices. I went with Damian Cook. I should have gone cheap hookers. So, cheap hookers. That sounds terrible. So, let's check out my team from last year, I guess. So, that's the team I ended with last year, Smith. Haas, Pangai, Crichton, Fafita, Barnett, Kelly, Walker, Ramian, Hines, Milne, Trevojevic, Mitchell. In the end, half of these players were suspended or injured. Um, it was terrible. So now what we're going to do, we're going to look at my team. Predictions for me this year. Comments, please comment down below what you think. Um, going to go straight to the bottom. I have picked Tom Trevojevic. Look. Is 1.2 million, but his scores. He played 15 games, five games less than Tedesco, and he is 400 points in front. Imagine if he had played 20 games, he would be 800 points in front. Third on the list is Latrell Mitchell. He's nearly a thousand points in front of Latrell. So I know Turbo costs a lot of money, but. With 143 average, surely you have to have him in your team. So that's, I've got him in my team and I've had to work around everyone else to be able to get him in. Um, then I've gone with Xavier Savage from Canberra. Hopefully he plays. Maybe there's someone cheaper than Savage, but if Savage plays at fullback in Canberra, he's going to make money. He's going to be a good buyer. I've gone with Selvin, Selwyn Kobo from the Broncos. He played last year. Xavier Coates is gone, so Kobo could get a starting spot. If he does, he has potential. I've gone Suwali again, Joseph Suwali. Um, Xavier Coates I've picked because he's now down in the Melbourne system. Last year, Remus Smith and another winger. I can't remember who it was. Even the Jennings down there. They were really low priced and down in Melbourne, they went really good. So I'm thinking Xavier Coates could go really good. Brian T uh, is in my team straight off the bat. That was one mistake I made last year. I didn't get him in, so he is straight in my team. These um, cheapies I've just got through. I've searched NRL 2022, every code's rookies to watch and they've come up. So you go through that list. This dude, Paul Alamati. So I've just gone through these lists to try and fill the spots. My 5'8 is Burton, who's gone from the Panthers to the Bulldogs. Look, he has potential um, for the price and my budget. I've gone Burton. I think he is good value. I'm Sullivan at the Dragons. Hopefully he gets a shot now that... Um, who's gone? That dude... What's his name? I can picture his face. This is like Parramatta. Uh, Corey Norman. Um, Sean Johnson, I've got at halfback. Look, he had a pretty poor couple of seasons at the Sharks. He plays his best for the Warriors. He's pretty cheap. Hopefully, that is the right call. I've gone Taft from the Rabbits. Looks start at fullback for Latrell. There's another option there, though, for the Rabbits, because if Latrell's still out for the start of the year, Taft's going to play at fullback. And there's this other dude called Ilias or something like that, who will probably play at halfback. And if he plays good at halfback, he might keep his spot, which means Taft might go to the bench. So I don't know if Taft is the right call, but I'm going with that. 
All right, second row, I've gone Curran from the Warriors. Look, he came, he, he was ac fantastic last year. He could hopefully go to another level this year. Olakawatu, Olakawato from the um, Seagulls. Look, I like the look of him last year. He could, same thing, improve on this. I've gone with Victor Radley. He came back from injury last year, had plenty of suspensions. Look, Victor Radley has potential too. He's pretty cheap. Um, I'm hoping that's a good pick. All right, reserves here. Heverington from the Broncos. Look, he could step up. He stepped up in a couple of games last year. Um, this dude, um, Pakura, what I can't even say his name. He was in the rookies to watch from the Broncos and Ben Trevojevic. Um, front row, Payne Haas and Okutulo Manu. Oh my God, these names. From the Tigers, same thing. He stepped up at the last half of the year at the Tigers. Um, his minutes improved and his work rate improved. So he could um, be as good as Payne, hopefully. Um, Fafita da and Daniel, David. It's a cooler for feeder at the Roosters. Look, he was a rookie to watch. And Tepai Maroa, who is now down at the Storm. He played the last couple of games for the Storm. He used to be at Parramatta. He went to Rugby Union. I've just got him in for that dual position flexibility. And he's pretty good. He could, he could go good down at Melbourne. And my hooker, Harry Grant. Also got garlic just because second row hooker options with Heverington there. They can switch around. But Harry Grant is my option at hooker. Brandon Smith, sure, he could could be it too. I went cook last year. It was hopeless. Reed Marnie is a good option, but he had that shoulder injury. So look, I think a lot of people are going to be going Harry Grant to start the season. All right. Leave me some feedback back down below what you think about these picks. I'm going to stick with this for about a month. And then um, leading up to the Indigenous Games and the All-Stars, um, some teams lists will start floating around the interweb. And then I'll start changing my team. Some injuries will come up. This year is probably even going to be worse than last with COVID. Omicron is running rampant at the moment. So they're either going to have to go into a bubble again. It's going to be a really disrupted season, I reckon. Um, so yeah, give me some feedback about Tommy Turbo, um, Suwali even. He's just cheap. So surely he's going to go better than last year. Burton Johnson. Wolf Sawali, both of the Morris guys are gone, so he's, he's, he's a starter for sure each week. Um, Burton Johnson, Radley. So, yeah, uh, that's my team. Give me some feedback. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leading up into Supercoach, I will be putting out two videos each week. One will be a Teams List Tuesday, running through all the Teams Lists. And then the Monday of the week, I'll be going through my scores and you'll be able to laugh at how terrible I went or clap at how good I went. And I'll be showing you the trades I do and stuff like that. Just a bit of fun. I don't take it too seriously, but I absolutely love Supercoach each year. Like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you next time.